Hello students today we are going to start with the beautiful poem the coromandel fishers written by sarojini naidu students in this poem the poetess describes the life of the fisherman the leader of the fisherman is giving a call to his comrades to start their work early in the morning the poem begins with the line rise brothers rise which means the fishermen call their men to get ready to go to the sea children the poem consists of three stanzas having four lines each the rhyme scheme of the poem is a a b b now i will begin with the stanza y stanza explanation in stanza 1 the poet asks the fishermen to rise as the day is about to appear she uses some symbols to tell this first she says that the wakening sky is prey to the morning light which means the sky which was sleeping in the night has woken up and is welcoming the light here the poet uses personification by using wakening a human activity for the sky a non living thing next she says the wind lies asleep in the arms of the dawn like a child that has cried all night meaning that the sea wind leads that the sea wind that leads to the storm is now calm as the tides rise in the right because of moon's gravitational pull because of the morning which is about to come thus the wind is just like the child which kept crying throughout the night and now he is quiet here the poet uses simile to compare now calm wind with the child by using these two symbolic examples she declares that the morning is near the morning is near now in the third line the poet asks the fishermen to gather their nets from the shore and set the catamarans free in order to capture the leaping wealth of the tide for they are the kings of the sea children i would like to tell you what are catamarans catamarans are a kind of boats used by fishermen in south according to the poet the fishermen should collect their wealth now what is the wealth actually the wealth is fishes seagulls etc the fishermen want them to take their boats because the tide is full of this wealth and they are the kings they just need to go to the sea to capture the wealth that is theirs hence they should go and capture the wealth children in stanza 2 the poet asks the fisherman to do everything very fast the line no longer delay let us hasten in the track of the seagull's call says this the gull's call is a symbol used to depict that morning is near the poet calls sea as their mother cloud as their brother and sea waves as their comrades comrades means companions here again the poet uses personification the poet thus wants to say that they all are family and help each other she urges others not to fear because even if they could not return back by sunset the sea god which according to her holds the sea storm by the hair will save them children in this stanza 3 that is the final stanza the poet says that the shade of the coconut glade the scent of the mango grove and the sands of the moon with the sounds of the voices they love are sweet and enjoyable but these joys are temporary rather they should go for the kiss of the spray you know what is a kiss of the spray 
the water drops falling on the face while one is in the sea is mentioned as the kiss of the spray and the dance of the foam's glee now the meaning of the line the dance of the foam's glee is the foam which forms by the uptown movement of the tides which according to the poet are sweeter and work struggling in the last line but row brothers row to the edge of the verge where the low sky mates with the sea this is the last line in this last line she asked the fisherman to depart for the point in the sea where the sun meets the sky that is the horizon symbolically it refers to infinity or a place without end in this perspective she asked the fisherman to dive into the infinite sea so this was the explanation of this poem children i hope you have understood the poem and now you will have to work for the assignments given to you thank you